Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tyler, and this is your 2019 reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, please subscribe, hit like, share if this resonates with you. If it doesn't, go on to the next video. <laughs> ooh, ooh, there's an opportunity, a new idea, a blossoming of something. Ooh, I think of that one as like, your seven chakras because the seven of wands is like you know that's what i see that's like seven things that ooh with the star so these are this is like this is like ideas okay so this is like your passions your dreams your desires a spark is getting lit in you by the freaking star this is the shit this reading is the shit this is your hope and promises. This is your dreams coming true. These two cards together says that whatever um, whatever you desire, you need to fucking figure it out right now. Go make yourself a list because this is promises. But we're in Saturnian energy right now. We're in Capricorn energy. So with that, it's like, you know, you can't live by faith alone. You have to work. Capricorn is about work. Oh, he's the goat, so. Oh. Ooh. So you have the Knight of Cups with the moon reversed. Now, the Knight of Cups is a messenger. You could think of him as Hermes. And the moon upside down being like, you need to get in touch with your intuition, your deeper self. So, maybe this is like, you know, um, an angel or like Hermes or whatever. Telling you, get in touch with your emotions. How do you feel? Like, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel bad? Are you liking the things you're doing? If you're not, get rid of them. Now is the time. It's like huge karmic cycles, like beginnings and endings. So whatever we want to envision for our future right now is really important. Because it's going to be like the next 10 years or something. But... If you stay consistent with it, it's going to be everything you want. This is like <clears throat> a divine fucking message. Like he's like bringing you the chalice that says like, um, like this cup is full that I'm going to give you. Even though I know your cup is half full and you've been trying to give it all your cup away, but you're not filling up yourself. This is like, I'm bringing you the promise of this fucking cup being filled but you have to go through your own blockages and figure out what's really hindering you what is it really you want what is it that you desire um and this to me is like spiritual you know what i'm saying because the moon is um that shadow self so It's like, if nobody else existed, and it was just you, and you could do anything you wanted to, but it could only be for yourself, there's no one else here, what would you do? Would you spend your time working at a fucking gas station, or would you spend your time fucking building and riding roller coasters? I don't fucking know. And it's like, what do you... Oh my god. <gasps> This is beautiful. This is that cup. This is saying, like, this is, oh my god, Ace of Cups. So Aces are, Aces are always, like, an idea that you ask for, but you didn't know you asked for it, and they planted it in your head, and you don't realize it until, the, boom, it pops. And the Ace of Cups is, like, a waterfall. It is, like, all your dreams and desires come true. It is like, <laughs> it is like, have a motherfucking party, but don't party too soon because it's going to be a long journey. It's a long path to get to that, the inner self, you know, you have, long, you have to follow the yellow brick road a long time. Oh, and on the bottom we have a, this guy's about working, seven of, seven, yeah, seven of pinnacles, working. Um, 
perfecting your craft. Ooh, and here's the chariot that says he's coming to take you away. Um, you just have to, basically, these two things are like two opposite forces that you have to control. It may be, it may, it might be light and dark. Maybe it might be good and evil. Whether it might be whatever. Um, and I say good and evil is like things inside of yourself. Like, what two decisions are you battling right now? Is it two guys? Is it two jobs? Is it two friends? Is it, um... I don't know, but there's like a, there's two opposing forces that you have to decide what's best for you. And with me being Virgo, I definitely, I've been dealing with the same type of energy. It's like, almost like when you have a spiritual awakening, it's like, uh, you kind of question yourself a little bit because you're like, whoa. And you have a lot of self-awareness. I feel like I almost have too much because I'm always questioning myself, but, um. It's like you have to be in that energy of like not second guessing yourself, being sure, being 100% committed to the first decision you make and not saying, well, what if, well, what if, well, what if, well, what if. There's no, no more what ifs. Oh, and here he comes back to make his little, oh, well, no, nope, this is the eight instead of the seven. So this is actually like. The other guy's waiting on his crops to bear fruits, and he's still, like, with that face. But this guy is actually perfecting his craft. He is honing in on his own unique niche. Stop trying to do everyone else's niche. Stop trying to cut yourself to make yourself fit society. You literally need to cut society and fit it to you, because you are not, like, society won't fit you. You have to fit yourself. Mm. How do I say this? It's basically like, like you have to don't conform to society, but it's never gonna fit. It, it's not. It's not gonna fit. Does that make sense? Not really. How can I explain this better? Oh, basically, there's a lot of fuck ass haters out here, and no matter what you do or how hard you try, or how much you try to please these motherfuckers, they're never going to vibe. With the shit that you vibe with. So, I had a hard time like, putting out my shit for a while. And I'm at this energy of like, fuck it. I'm at the fuck it energy. And we all have to be at that fuck it energy. Because if not, ooh, if not, we'll never um, move forward in perfecting our craft. Because we'll never be sharing it. Ooh, guilt. Guilt. I'm actually going to read this one, because this one, these ones get pretty deep. They they say it so much deeper than I could ever say it. 132, okay, hold on. It says, this moment, the here and now, is forgotten when you start thinking in terms of achieving something. When the achieving mind arises, you lose contact with the paradise you are in. This is one of the most liberating approaches. It liberates you right now. Forget all about sin and forget about saintliness. Both are stupid. Both together have destroyed all the joys in humanity. A sinner is feeling guilty, hence his joy is lost. How can you enjoy life if you are continuously feeling guilty? If you are continuously going to church to confess that you have done wrong and that wrong, uh, that you have done this wrong and that wrong, and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and your life seems to be made of sins. How can you live joyously? It becomes impossible to delight in life. You become heavy loaded. Sins and guilt your chest like a rock. Um, the guilt of sins. It crushes you. It does not allow you to dance. How can you dance? How can you... How can guilt dance? How can guilt sing? How can guilt love? How can guilt live? The one who thinks he's doing something wrong is guilty. Burdened. Dead before death has already entered into the grave. Damn, that was deep. But that's what I was trying to explain in a very shittier way about controlling these two opposite forces, getting a hold on your good and evil, getting a hold on light and dark, getting a hold on two opposing forces and bringing them into unity so that you can move forward onto this next level. Um, whether that be... Um, a new idea, whether that be 
a new relationship, whether that be whatever, whatever. All you all you gotta do is figure out what you want and celebrate it. Because it's already yours. Um Dang, that was so deep. Oh. Ooh. Clinging to the past. So. Mm. Do we keep looking to the past to define us? Do we keep looking at all relationships to tell us who to be? Do we keep trying to figure out other people's actions and follow theirs like all these people who wrote all these books in the bible and all these religions those are just people having their own spiritual awakening and it's definitely hindered me in my spiritual awakening that i i do feel guilty sometimes because i'm like what's the right way what's the wrong way well i realized today that like whatever is in your heart that feels like love do that like do that because if we were sinners and we were such bad people or evil people, why would God come to us first? I don't know how you all had your spiritual awakening, if you've had your spiritual awakening yet. But mine definitely happened really crazy. Like, So with that, I've had to come, I've had to go like backwards in order to come forwards in my life again. I had to go and see what it, what, what it was like to feel shitty over other people's fucking actions stop listening to other people don't listen to your mom don't listen to these religions don't listen to any of that shit because none of that's real Ooh, celebration celebration if you can let go of those fucking old fucking bullshit habits these if you can stop reading other people's experiences if you can stop Ooh, and it's 11 11 right now <laughs> Um, if you can stop trying to live other people's experiences instead of living your own unique path, um, yeah, once you live your own unique path, you're, you're lit. You can celebrate. You can figure out what it is you truly want to do and who you are in yourself. Oh, conditioning. And it has all the little, it's like smoke and, um, Smoke and mirrors is what I think of when I look at this card. Like, he's a lion, right? And lions are lone wolves. Like, basically, well, they're a lion. But it's like, lions walk alone. They don't need nobody to fucking follow them. All the sheep are here, but they don't need them. You know what I'm saying? These sheep ain't even really with them because they don't exist. They're figments of his imagination. Um, I don't know how deep you want to get with this reading, but I watch a lot of Flat Earth Paradise on YouTube. He's pretty dope. If you think that's stupid, I, I advise you to go <laughs> watch it first. It's an interesting concept. But um, he talks about inorganic souls or inorganic portals or um, basically dead people. It, but it's not what you think. It's like anyone who's not consciously aware or self-aware is dead because you're living in this program matrix. It's like if I said, hey, bitch, fuck you. You're going to react and try to fight me probably or try to yell. Or if I say something crazy to you at a bar, you're going to act fucking stupid. Here's where the real power lies, okay? If you don't react, that's more power than anything because you're operating in love. When you operate in love, you beat the computer program. All these motherfuckers are computer programs trying to win your fucking day. And you're letting them. You're losing against the computer right now. Life is a game. If you can see how you can get ahead, you should take that advice. I haven't been taking my own advice, but 2019, this year's for us. And then, psh, experiencing. This woman is like hugging in the tree, and then you can see her little rainbow underneath. Her undergarments are a rainbow. But what that means is like, her insides is... What's at the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold, okay? Just like, it's like we're sitting on our gold. We're sitting on our talent. We're sitting on our passions. We're sitting on our ideas. We're sitting on them and not allowing them to flow to the world. We're not delivering who 
our soul message to the world. Maybe deliver your own soul message. Don't wait for somebody to write in and give you a message. You need to be given a message. You need to be doing something. You need to be discovering who the fuck you are because that's what we're really here for, Virgo. I don't know if y'all are ready for that one. I'm going to pull one more card for the um, Rebel deck. What advice can we leave Virgo with for January? Ooh, January 2019. Stop fucking whining. <laughs> no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world, so do it. Well, Virgo, on that note, <laughs> bye, Virgos. See you next time. Bye.